What's up, guys? And welcome back to episode number 10 of our Project Ozone 3 Skyblock Let's Play. Um, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Currently, I'm recording this on Friday, um, but I don't have a lot of time today, so I don't think I'll be able to get this episode out. I think I'm going to need to record it over several days when I have more time. Uh, but I wanted to start recording here on Friday um, before my priorities um, start for today. Um, so the first thing what I wanted to do was I wanted to make some golden spikes and replace these iron spikes with those. Now the difference between the iron and golden spikes is that these golden spikes will drop experience. So this thing already has from some experience from me killing mobs manually. Um, but we're definitely running out of room in this chest. We're going to need to do something about that. It might be a good idea to get into uh, some heart canisters. We have so many wither bones and so many red hearts. What's a relic apple? Okay, that's, that's doable. We don't have as many emeralds and uh, diamonds, but anyway. So if we continue on here. Um, so those spikes are going to drop experience when they kill mobs. Trust me, they will. So we should see this... Uh, this internal buffer fill up uh, over time. So in order to do that, or in order to, the reason I want to do that is just so that we can passively be collecting experience over time. And now that we're in Ender IO, I want to go ahead and build the experience obelisk. So this is going to take some energetic alloy. It's also going to take some solarium, solarium, and what else? We have that. That's doable. So we have, we need some iron. Take some of those. And then we're going to need some glass. Take some of that. So I believe I should have a soul or a basic chassis in here. Yeah. So I have industrial and simple. And if we combine this simple with, I think, one soul sand or solarium. How do we do that? How do we make this solarium? Oh, it's the Solitude Dye Blend. Okay. Do we have any of that? Yes, we do. That's good. Made extra of that. So that'll get us our Soul Machine chassis. And I believe we should have everything else ready to go once we craft this. And yeah, there's our experience obelisk. All right. So let's go over here and configure this a little bit. So we'll just pop this down. Yeah, let's do it like this. All right. So if we look on here, we want to uh, put fluid on the up face, if possible. Yeah. So now um, the fluid is going extracting into the experience obelisk. Uh, and this is going to allow us to store infinite amount of experience in here. Yeah, so, all right, this is perfect. Now we have passive experience collection. And this is going to allow us to do some cool enchantments, like in Ender IO. I know there's like the enchanter from Ender IO and extra utilities, but all these are going to require levels. So I just wanted to start. Um, passively getting experience from our mob farm because well we can and it only requires some gold and now we can store an infinite amount of it so uh, yeah got that done so now what I wanted to do very quickly is just show you guys what I have going on over here now if you saw last episode um, you saw me set this up so um, essentially we just made a plant gatherer because that can har uh, harvest the agricraft crops um, so I also made a solar panel to power that, but that really wasn't keeping up. So what I did was just mimic our power gen set up over there with this uh, crucible cobblestone generator feeding this lava. So this is full pretty much all the time. Um, but what I've been doing, um, I 10, 10, 10 the inferium seeds. That was available last episode. I also went ahead and 10, 10, 10 our nether quartz and the certus quartz. And the redstone has been uh, a little slower, but... Um, th if we come over here, identify this seed. So this is at 10.99. So if we're lucky, we might have just finished it. No, 10.9.10. Okay, we have another one to try. Let's see what this one is. 
Yeah, I really want this to be 10, 10, 10. Come on. All right, there we go, guys. Perfect. So, now what we can do, plant our 10, 10, 10. Redstone seed. I'm just going to trash this other stuff. Don't need the redstone seeds. Definitely will hold on to the essence. Yeah, so all of these, this essence was collected, and I even used more redstone essence to create redstone, which I'll probably do as well right now, because I don't think it's used for anything else. But yeah, like, we do use this for this. It makes redstone. So look at that. Look at all that redstone. You know how much, how long it would have taken me to sieve for all that redstone? Ridiculous. But now we have that that much and we can easily get redstone. Redstone is not an issue anymore. Especially now that we have a whole row of it. Now this is very likely going to um going to be way too many resources once this farm is up and running again. But uh once you have the ten 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 seed you can just get clippings and I've just been planting it in a row. Like so. So yeah, now we'll have four rows of each of these seeds. Clippings, clippings, clippings. Alright, well you guys, uh, you get the picture. But yeah, uh, so, um, uh, what I wanted to do, I actually don't know what I wanted to do uh, with the rest of this episode. Uh, first, let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, I think maybe our next step is to be getting into applied energistics. Um, this is going to take me a while. As I've said before, I don't, I've never really gotten into applied energistics, but if we look at our, um, which tab is this? The row tab here, we can start uh, the whole process of getting into it. So I think this is probably going to be the project for the remaining of the episode. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, um, cut here, do some research, um, get things ready, and uh, I'll get back to you guys for some AE. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a few days since that last clip, but um, I've been busy both in real life, but also playing uh, Minecraft here. So I turned this farm on um, just probably for 10 minutes or so, and we are completely full. It is uh, far too powerful. So um, yeah, that's a thing, but this is uh, definitely helping me get a lot more resources. Um, so as I said at the end of last clip, I wanna get into AE now. So uh, what one thing I did in between uh, these clips was I got a bunch of materials related to applied energistics. So with our farm, I was able to get Certus Quartz, and then you pop those in our energetic infuser to get charged. I also have Fluix, and I also made pure Fluix and pure Certus, which I know we'll need in this phytogenic insulator. Um, there's recipes for that in here. I think you had glowstone and then the seeds, the fluix and the certus quartz seeds. And this makes the pure version. It takes a while, so I upgraded this machine all the way to the resonant tier. And I have all of the uh, augments in, but it, even with all those, it still takes a while. Um, another thing that happened was we have farm animals, which I'm sure you guys saw over here. They did end up spawning. I think we had pigs, and I also had some sheep, but I might have killed all of the sheep because... They were really annoying, and they made it down to this platform, which I just built. Um, more pigs down here, I think, yeah. But um, this is where I transferred all of our sort of wiring and stuff, and this is where I'm going to hide um, our applied energistic stuff and wiring. Um, so yeah, I just transferred everything from up here that I was on level with this platform down to here, so we still have our cobble gen, still have our crucibles making the lava, which is fueling these. What I also did was upgrade these, um, and they're the, uh, what's that, the middle tier, tier two, and I just have two uh, augments in there. So yeah, those are, uh, those are doing well. But yeah, everything's been going well. I have a bunch of resources. Uh, so now I wanted to go ahead and get into Applied Energistics. So we'll go ahead and make all of our presses. I also made, as you saw there, some inscribers. And we're going to need these inscribers in order to get started with AE. So, problem. Okay, so let's get some power. here we will disable that connection go down here and just for there we go 
disconnect those. So yeah, let's uh, just have another line here of cables. So we'll put, I believe that these inscribers require power. I could be wrong in that, but I think they do. It looks like they're getting, maybe they only need, I think maybe these are weird and they only get it from the top. I remember reading something about that, but I am pretty confident that these need power. No? This is on output, correct? Yeah. Alright, well let's uh, let's see if we put anything in here. So, again, as I said in the last clips, guys, um, I don't have a lot of experience with AE. So, uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but I'm just going to go ahead and see if this works. It does work. Okay, so this is the progress bar, um, but these guys do have power. Whether or not they need the power, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll just start, go ahead, getting some of these presses. Now, this one, I believe, is for gold. Yes, and then our calculation press is going to need the qu quartz. I'll put that in there, and I'll put our engineering press, which uses diamonds in here. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to do now that I have these set up is immediately go ahead and make some advanced inscribers just because it's going to speed the process of making these different circuits up. So I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to make four of these advanced inscribers. Um, so I'll need, uh, I guess that's eight engineering processors and these are the diamond, silicon, and redstone in an inscriber. So maybe I should make another inscriber to do that. But anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and make our inscribers and I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, I am back and I go. I went ahead um, and decided to make enough stuff for five advanced inscribers. So with these, and I'm hoping maybe these actually, uh, maybe these can receive energy from the back. We'll find out. So down, that should be enough. Does that have power? Not, it does not. Now let's see if it can take it from the top. No. It says it's sleeping. All right, uh, not 100% sure. Maybe these need to be powered by, um, by uh, the glass cables. So then let's, uh, that's not good. I, uh, in order to, uh, so if I can't power this, I need to make an energy acceptor in order to power these, I think, unless I'm doing something wrong. Do they take power from underneath? Nope. All right, guys, uh, I'll be right back. Got to figure this out. All right, guys, I'm back. So I am pretty sure that those advanced subscribers here, which sometimes for some reason they're not snack stacking right now, which is weird. Um, but they do need to be powered by, I think, the uh, the ME cable. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead, make an energy acceptor. Uh, so this is going to allow us to power our energy or our ME system, from what I understand, from our power gen. Bank. So let's go ahead and claim some of these rewards. So now that we have our energy acceptor, we should be able to, let's actually first make some uh, glass cables. We're going to need some fluix and quartz fiber, which needs glass and nether quartz dust. We have some glass here. Let's also, we have some quartz dust. So this should, uh, should be able to go ahead and uh, make this just that many, really. I guess I'm, I'm out of glass. Let's make some more glass over here. Let's see, what don't we need that we do not need? Alright, and then we can go ahead and make some ME glass cable. Perfect. So, let's find a nice place down here to put our uh, energy acceptor. So maybe what I'm thinking here is because eventually um, we're going to want to access our AE system over here where our storage, uh, our shelving unit is. But we can't easily break this down because literally all our items are in here. So um, I'll have to begin the process of um, 
moving all of our items from here into our ME system. Mm -hmm. So I think for now, we'll put our ME system like maybe right here in this little uh, this little corner. So I guess let's go ahead and take some, where are those cables? There they are. I'll take some of these enhanced conduits mm -hmm. and I'll just unconnect these. Like so. And I'll put the energy acceptor right here, maybe? Does that seem good? Seems good to me. Actually, let's do it one over to here. All right, so we have our energy acceptor. And from what I understand, we can feed cable off of this into advanced subscribers. So let's just do these here. And light that up. All right, so this hopefully should give these guys power. It's actually connecting to the machine itself. So uh, that's a good sign, I think. So uh, in order to move on from here, now that we have our advanced subscribers, I wanna go ahead and make an ME drive and eventually an ME controller but for now I think we should maybe just stick to the drive um, because this is going to require uh, uh, storage cells to put in the drive but the drive is going to require these two engineering processors so let's go ahead and play around with these advanced inscribers to see how these guys work so uh, again we're gonna need the silicone so I think you still uh, you still put the presses in so let's see this is logic this is engineering the calculation is the quartz, so this is the silicon press, and I don't have any silicon. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go ahead, take some silicon down with us. So now, if we put like a stack of silicon in here, I think this automatically makes the um, presses, and then they'll just it'll continue to make them as resources are in here. So definitely way better than the. Um, other presses and I'm probably just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of those um, calculation is that that's quartz okay so I'll just put I don't know I don't know how many of these I need I'll just put 16 in there for now engineering logic is going to need gold which I don't have gold sure we'll do that many gold and lastly, engineering is going to be diamonds. Now, we are low on diamonds. However, if we look at a quest here, um, this one here, we have to make the press circuit. So we've made the engineering processor. Next, we need to make the calculation processor. So let's take one of these, or all of them, I guess, and one of these. And in this last one, if we put, what was it, this, silicone and redstone, and that's going to make us a calculation processor. We'll only take one of those for now, uh, although I think it's doing one. And then lastly, the logic processor is the gold, the silicon, and redstone. So we'll take all of those, more silicon, which we already had, the gold, silicon, and redstone. And now this is going to make us the, whatever this one is called, logic. All right, and we'll take these out. Now we should have this quest done, I hope. There it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and claim the engineering because those uh, require diamonds and we're low on diamonds. This is all my diamonds. Anyway, guys, so now we have a good amount of stuff. We have logic processors. You know what? Let's just let's make a few more of those. Why don't we? We can make some of those. And then I'll make more of the uh, calculation because I know these are heavily involved in um, in making the uh, AE2 stuff. So let's look at an ME drive. Now the ME drive is going to require two of the engineering, two iron, and two glass cable. We have that already. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead put take these out actually, put these in and that in. And those should just make more of those. All right, so let's look at our ME. So we can unfavorite that. I'll unfavorite the acceleration cards for now because we don't need those. Um, but yeah, let's look at our ME drive here. 
So that is honestly pretty easy. If I have iron on me, we should be able to do that right now. For now, we'll do one drive. Perfect. That should be probably be a quest. No? There it is. Alright, ME drive is done. ME fiber is done. So now what we're going to want to do is make, uh, well we could make the ME controller, uh, however I don't really think we'll necessarily need that maybe this episode, but we are going to want to get into, uh, not fluid storage, but item storage. So we're going to want to make a few, I think 4K storage cells. I'm not sure how many, but uh, I'll just probably go ahead and make a bunch. So these are going to require 4K uh, storage components, which requires calculation processors, which requires these, which require logic processors, and pure or chargers, or not just regular works. All right, so let's go ahead and go down here, take out some of these. So calculation processors, how many of these are, gonna, are we going to need? Let's do a little bit of math here. So let's say, do we want to go for... Let's go for four 4Ks for now. I don't know how many um, slots my items are going to take up that I have. I don't have too much stuff, I don't think. Um, so maybe four is a good number to go for. So that means we're going to need four calculation processors, which we have. And we're going to need 12 logic processors. Currently, we have eight. So let's make more of those. Where are our silicon? No, this requires the, uh, the quartz ones, right? Yeah, I think. Well, let's just see. Nope, it is silicon. What What am I doing? It's a good thing I looked at that. All right, and then our gold. Nice. Yeah, this is great. Getting these advanced subscribers early on was definitely a good idea, I think. Um, and soon we can upgrade these with those advanced cards, and uh, they'll essentially be extremely quick. And I know eventually we'll get into auto crafting uh, all of this stuff, probably maybe in the next episode even, um, depending on how this goes. But now that we have this stuff, whoops, throw the pick on the ground. Let's look at these ME drives. So, quartz glass, do we have that? We do. Let me go ahead and just put some of this away. Um, we might need it. We might need glass, actually. I'll put the pistons away, though. Put the diamonds away. Put the slime away. Don't need the inscriber anymore. So let's see. Uh, I think this should have a stack of glass, yeah. So what are we going to need? We're going to need uh, quartz glass, which we have on us. We're going to need the calculation processors, which we have. And we're going to need these 1K storage. So we're going to need some Certus, just regular. And let's go ahead and get crafting. So 1K storage, redstone. We also need redstone. Luckily, we have no shortage of that. All right, so that's 12 1Ks. Four, four Ks. Oh, this is pretty easy, actually, guys. Do we have quartz glass? I don't know how much of that we have on us. Uh, we should have enough. I don't know why these aren't stacking. Oh, I'm out of iron. That's why. Get some more of that. I should probably turn like a bunch of those blocks into ingots just to have them. Uh, so let's see, four K. Right, that was pretty easy honestly guys we already have that many so um energy acceptor is there now where do we want to put our me drive i think let's just go ahead and actually no that's just, that's where we want them does that break those i don't know if that might have broken those so let's uh let's not break those with our pickaxe but yeah if we put our me drive right here plop these guys in there. Now we have ME storage. So um, I think we can go ahead and just plop items in there now, except in order to do that, I think this ME crafting terminal is something we want. So uh, we're gonna need annihilation and formation cores. Uh, that looks pretty doable though. Let's go, where's my elevator? Here it is. All right, we have a bunch of those. Don't need those anymore. I just wasted all of that. We want these calculations, so we want the silicon in there, we want these in there, and redstone. How many of these do we have left? We have those. Let's put some of these in here. All right, and we'll add, where's my silicon? There it is. So yeah, we're gonna get more calculation processors. Um, probably be a good idea to put a crafting grid down here, but for now, just take these up. 
So let's see what we need here. We want, okay, we don't need these. We don't need this anymore. We want the crafting terminal, which requires the ME terminal. So that's quartz glass. We're gonna need glowstone. Very low on glowstone. Need to make a trip to the nether here soon. Hopefully we don't need too much of that. So let's make, am I really, don't have redstone? What, what did I do with all that redstone? Did I put that back? Regardless, we really don't have any shortage of redstone, so that's okay. All right, we'll make just one recipe worth of those. ME crafting terminal, this is what we want. So we want an ME terminal for that, which requires a logic processor. So we need an annihilation and a formation core. Now Flux dust is something we're gonna need. I have Flux crystals, I believe. Is Flux dust just these ground up in the pulverizer? Yes. And the annihilation requires nether quartz. This one requires just regular certus. All right. All right, we can easily do these. So we'll make two of those and the annihilation. Oh, we need some quartz. Also have a bunch of that, thanks to our farm. And what did we make? We made the formation. We need the annihilation. All right, guys. So now we have those. And the crafting terminal requires the terminal. We can make one of those now. And I think I'm just going to need a crafting table. Don't have one of those, but do have, do we not have even any planks in here? I'm just completely out of planks. All right. Got to empty some of this stuff out. Iron, pure. All right. And we have ourselves crafting station. So with our ME crafting terminal, there we go. So this we can actually maybe put on the front there. No, that's not what we wanted. Uh oh, I think I broke one of those. We want our crafting terminal. So now if we put, let's say, wood in there, we can see wood is taking 33 out of the 4,000 bytes on this cell. Uh, so this is uh, essentially we have ourselves a uh, crafting terminal, guys. I think what I'm gonna gonna, ooh, little uh, jumbled words there. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do now, now that we have this up and running, uh, is start the process off camera of transferring all the junk into here, uh, into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that, and I'll be back once I'm finished that process. All right, guys. So I have successfully transferred everything that was here in the in our, uh, whatever this was called, shelving unit into uh, our drives. I also went ahead and made uh, 10 drives, I think, however many the uh, ME drive holds uh, of the 4K, just because I had the resources. And uh, yeah, I figured it, we would future-proof a little bit for the storage we're gonna need. So uh, now that we did that, I wanted to move our ME system over. In fact, I don't, I don't know if I'll have enough uh, enough ME glass cables, but uh, we'll see. So let's uh, get our enhanced conduits, which I don't have on me. So we'll take our energy acceptor. Man, I really wish I had one more of those conduits. I don't think there's any in here, no. All right, oh well, we'll put our energy acceptor right there. And then from this, we will connect our ME drive and our terminal. So ME drive and crafting terminal, which I want one more forward. All right, so if we put our drives back in here, I'm not sure which ones are full, but uh, yeah, so now you can see um, we have a bunch of drives. I have a lot of them full with the different types, which can still more bytes. But yeah, so now we have ourselves. I have this sorted. Um, I'm going to do it by number of items. And then I want to do JEI synchronized, I believe. But we'll play with this as we go around. But yeah, guys, so uh, we get, uh, went ahead and made a lot of progress today. We have ourselves a nice AE system. Um, eventually, again, we have a lot of room for expansion down here. Um, Later is down here is where I'll put um, 
like our uh, our crafting stuff, our auto crafting stuff, molecular assemblers, um, different type of stuff like that. Probably machines down here to automate certain uh, machine recipes. But yeah, I think this is going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Um, again, a lot of progress today. More organized. Uh, I'll probably have to cover this up with something or eventually just fill it in with more machines. I might do like a, uh, a stone backsplash behind this just so we don't have to look uh, through there. Same thing with over here. But yeah, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Uh, first time getting into AE here. Definitely enjoying it so far. Uh, definitely extremely nice to have all of my items in one place that I can search, that I can craft. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you did enjoy the episode. Uh, as always, more episodes to come, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!